The morning of my execution drew close and I felt no fear. I was collected from the cell by a soldier and in the freezing cold, after a time of heavy snowfall, I began my last journey. I was to be executed with two priests, friends that I had known for many years, Father Roger Philcock and Father Mark Barkworth. At the gallows my soul was full of love and joy. I knelt down and commended my soul to Jesus. I then kissed the wood of the gallows, made the sign of the cross and stood. When the rope was placed around my neck, I closed my eyes. When Protestant ministers tried to get me to renounce the Catholic faith, I boldly told the gathered people, I am sentenced to die for harbouring a Catholic priest, and so far am I from repenting of what I have done, that I wish, with all my soul, that where I had entertained one, I could have entertained a thousand. I offered my death to Jesus for the Catholic Church in my beloved country of England, knowing that in the coming centuries, I would unite my prayers with those of the church militant, always ready to assist those Catholics that stood up for the truths of the faith against a secular world that despised Christ and his message. I died a Catholic Englishwoman and I commended my soul to Christ my Saviour.